on the count of three. Everybody run back to your fantasy. Now. What up, everybody? It's your girl, Drea. Oh, and as you know, I'm everywhere you go. And right now, I'm chilling out with... G. Herbo. What's Yo. good? Actually, you know, I still keep in contact with everything that's happening in the city, Chicago, since I've been out here in New York. Mm -hmm. Eight-year-old boy just got killed yeah. in Chicago. What are your thoughts on that? That's crazy. Like, it's it's a lot, a lot of madness going on and, and shit like that. I don't know what's really behind it. It wasn't no accident, I don't feel like, because he got hit multiple times. Mm -hmm. And Chicago's so small. Like, I know his father. You wow. feel me? Like, his, his father is a... It's my blood cousin, her boyfriend, one of his, like, best friends, damn near, you feel me? Wow. And so, really, like, Chicago, the, the shit going on out there, crazy. Like, a lot of shit is, is unexcusable, you know what I'm saying? And it's really, I feel like it's my obligation and people who really got a voice and a big influence on Chicago to let people know it's more to that. And, yeah. I, and it's, it is certain situations that make you react a certain way and shit that you go through that'll just never make you the same. I'm not saying that it's not because I've been through it and I am a product of that. Mm -hmm. But when you see more and experience more, you expand from that and separate yourself from that. You know you are what you are and you true to it. You can always be what you are and react to certain situations the same, but you don't have to think like that and be in that mad state and let that type of shit get the best of you. You feel me? Like, yeah. I know what's you know what I'm saying Like what's Possible And what could happen About me being in Chicago I still move A certain type you of way You still stay out there Right um, I'm back and forth I'm in LA right now You know what I'm saying and, um, I just got a place In Chicago Just for when I'm there Just to really be like Unseen damn Right there, Like chilling. type shit Like yeah I like <laughs> chilling And just Getting the I like controlling my vibe You feel I don't like yeah. negative energy And none of that type of shit No more So mm -hmm. I, I, that's how I'm really When I'm in Chicago I move like that I'm in Chicago still Because my family's still there But I'm not You know what I'm saying Because I work a lot And I'm, I try to be there As less as possible mm -hmm. So With the whole shit That's going on You gotta let people know There's more to it Like it's Right It's you, not It's not that bad Because everybody's not, like right. I don't want to come to Chirac it, Everybody yeah, calls it, Chirac I'm like We don't even really it, We yeah, don't really call it Yeah that. like If you're not into that type of shit You can separate yourself from it Like right. people don't just go can, Looking right. for people you know right. what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of lifestyle that you live when you done, like, my lifestyle. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, it's a difference between my lifestyle and other people who from Chicago. Like, my lifestyle and Chance the Rapper lifestyle, totally different. different. Right. It just depends on what you do and what you into yeah. and where you been and where you come from. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And what happened to you. Chicago, not a bad place, but bad things do happen. Do happen. And it happened to not always bad people. Yep. You feel me? But I feel like. With the lifestyle that I live, the people who live that lifestyle know the lifestyle they right. live in and know what come from it. Right. And if you don't, you shouldn't be living that lifestyle. Right, right. Exactly. And, okay, so you know that the father of the little boy. What about the mother? She came under a lot of scrutiny because she bought a car. They're saying that she bought a car with the money that people donated. What do you think about that? Because I don't think it's, I mean, she, I don't think there was a... Right. I, look, I feel like, first of all, if everything is taken care of with her son and as far as the funeral and stuff like that, you don't know what she's going through. That lady might be trying to provide right. for herself, like a car, like she may need a car. It was you necessary. Know, like, it might have been what she needed. You don't know her situation with her being in the house or like her living situation. Right. So a car might have been something vital to her, you know what I'm saying, surviving. Yep. So you never, like, you can't judge people. People are always going to say ignorant shit like that, you know right. what I'm saying? Not knowing what she going through, like if she grieving, of course she's still grieving. Right. You feel me? But people gonna always say negative stuff like that. I don't know the mother personally, but I feel like they should just if they not if it's not nothing beneficial to helping her get through her situation, they and should just, just leave their anything. comments to themselves. That's how I feel, especially if you didn't donate. Right. People if you didn't, you didn't even donate or do shit. Your like, money. Yeah.